What's up everyone, Justin with GTK Apple here and today I'm here to do a speed test between the iPod Touch 5th generation and the iPod Touch 4th generation. From what you can see here, the iPod Touch 4G is on the left and the iPod Touch 5G is on the right. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the specs. The iPod Touch 4G features an A4 processor, a dual core processor with 256 megabytes of RAM, while the iPod Touch 5th generation features an A5 processor that is apparently 7 times better graphics processing and double the RAM. So you should see a pretty significant speed, about equivalent to the iPhone 4S, which had about the same specs as the iPod Touch 5. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with Geekbench, which is overall benchmark of the system here um, it doesn't really matter which one finishes first or whatever the final score is what we're looking for all the apps have been shut down on both the devices and I've restored the iPod touch 4 so pretty much it is a pretty even battle here it just gives you the specs both of them are clocked at 800 megahertz and they're both running iOS 6.0 so just tap benchmarks on both of them I'm gonna speed this up and skip to the part where the benchmark is complete so they both did take quite a while to complete. The iPod Touch scored at a score somewhere around where the iPhone 4 would score in the 300s, the high 300s, and the iPod Touch 5th generation came in at just about where the iPod iPhone 5, 4S um, came up at somewhere around the 600 range. So you can see a significant difference here. The iPhone 4S was a pretty fast phone compared to the iPhone 4. So let's jump out to the actual comparisons where you guys would be able to see a difference in real life situations. Just go to the home button here, um, speed test, and these are both connected to the same networks. I'm going to go ahead and see which one scores a higher uh, mark in terms of the megabits per second, the ping, and also the upload speed and download. So they have both now completed, the ping is pretty close, a 6 millisecond different really isn't noticeable. The download speed is about 3 faster um, on the iPod Touch 5th generation and the upload speed is also very very close. So overall in terms of the Wi-Fi you won't see a huge difference at least for now. Let's jump ahead and take a look at the Safari loading speeds. So I'm going to go search something like iPad on both of them. And we're going to try to tap this at the same time here. And the iPod Touch 5th generation is, I'd say, I wouldn't say significantly faster, but it is a notable speed difference. Let's go ahead and open it up on Apple's website here. 3, 2, 1, go. And once again, the iPod Touch 5th generation is faster, mainly because of the amount of RAM and the fact that it has a new processor. It is able to load up all the images and all that on Apple's website faster. So you can evidently see a difference in terms of the web browsing speeds. I wouldn't really say the iPod Touch 4 is slow, but after using this for a while, the iPod Touch, um, using it for about two years, you will notice that the speed starts to decrease, so that may be a factor as well. I'm going to go ahead and open up the App Store here and we can go ahead and take a look at the difference. I'm going to shut off the App Store first. Um, these are all the applications that we just ran. Try and open up the App Store at the same time, the iTunes Music Store, and see which one can load faster. Again, there are quite a few images here and different modules have to be loaded. The iPod Touch 5th generation jumps out to a pretty good lead. Um, and as you can see, it is also significantly faster than the iPod Touch 4th generation. I'm going to go to the home menu and open up the App Store. And you can see that the iPod Touch 5th generation once again jumps out ahead. I'm going to do a boot up test as well right now. A shutdown and um, turn on test right now. Just set both the devices to power off and see which one can power off and then power on faster. There, so they both powered off almost instantly. The iPhone 5 takes a little bit longer. Here, I'm gonna jump over to this side and. So, 
I'm not really surprised that the iPod Touch 4th generation, um, the Apple logo booted up a little bit earlier. That was the case with the iPhone 5 comparisons with the older generations, that the logo booted up a little bit earlier. But with the iPhone 5, the boot up time was significantly faster than the 4S. Here you can see, once again, it is the case. The iPod Touch 5th generation boots up very, very fast. Um, these both are flash storage, if you guys didn't know that already. So there is a significant difference in terms of the speed compared to the iPod Touch 4th generation in all categories. In terms of the way it boots up, the way the apps load, um, the power in terms of the graphics if you want a game on this, and definitely the 4 inch display is very beautiful if you want to play some full screen games as developers start to update the apps to optimize for the 4 inch display. So this is just a video that give you guys an idea of how fast the everyday stuff runs. I didn't actually download any apps for this, but I'm going to do a one last test of opening up the camera on both devices. So once again, it was the case on the iPod Touch 4G that the app actually jumped up faster, but the shutter was open on the iPod Touch 5th generation um, before the iPod Touch 4th was. So once again, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Please leave a comment below if you'd like to see, request any more comparisons or videos done between devices and also some demonstrations on the iPod Touch 5. I'll see you guys in my next video.